Today we solve another Nikolai puzzle, number 304 from their Extreme book. We'll find hidden patterns and identical twins, two concepts that can help find numbers. I'll talk about each of those concepts as we go along. To print this puzzle, click the link in the description below, or you can go here and you can find a link to that puzzle, along with uh, lots of other printable puzzles. You can print each one and try and solve it, and then there's a link to a video for each puzzle out there. Well, let's get down to business. First of all, let's talk about a, uh, diagonal patterns and uh, hidden corner patterns. Uh, I mentioned hidden patterns at the beginning. Well, we've got a 4 and a 7 here, and a 4 and a 7 here. That makes these 4, 7 twins right here. Okay. Now, we can't solve those, those 4, 7s, but we know all four of these numbers now, so we have a hidden corner pattern right here. And we're going to use that in just a minute. We also have, uh, in this in box 9 here, we have another diagonal pattern right here. And we've got a 7-2 there and a 7-2 here. So that makes these two 7 twins. We can solve them because of that 2 right there. So we'll put those in right now. And then we've got one 2 twins in box 5 here. There's a 1 here and a 2 here. And there's a plus pattern right there. So these are one 2 twins right there. All right, we also have two right angle patterns that we can uh, take advantage of right away. We got this one right here, and we've got a six in this column and a six in this row, so that makes this a six. And then we've also got a right angle pattern here with a one in this row and a one in this column, makes that a one. And then we've got a 2 uh, right here. We've got a 2, 2, 2. So that makes that a 2. And we've got a 5 in box 3 here. We've got, um, since we've got 1, 2 twins here, we know this is 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 3, 5, and 7. So we have ghost 5s there and a 5 there. So there are ghost 5s there makes that a 5 right there. You have 5, ghost 5s, and ghost 5s. Makes that a 5. And since I put a 2 here, we can fill in the 1, 2 twins we found a minute ago. Put a 1 there and a 2 there. All right, now it's getting a little tricky already. But I did find... Um, in column five here, let's see what we're missing. Three, four, five, seven, nine. Well, here's a four, five, and a seven, so that's a three or a nine. And here's a four, five, and a seven, so that's a three or a nine. So we got three nine twins there. So the, the other three numbers are four, five, and seven. There's a 5 right there, so that makes that 4, 7, 4 or 7. And remember our hidden corner pattern here, that's a 4 or a 7 also, because we have 4, 7 twins there. So that makes these 4, 7 twins this way. And so let's look at this cell right here with the knowledge that we have 3, 9s here, 3, 9 twins, and 4, 7 twins there. We've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 right there. So that's a 3. The only number that this cell can't see is a 3. So we can put a 3 right there. And that was a, maybe a little tricky. Let me review that one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
Okay, so that's that's how we know that's a three. All right, and now since we put a three here, we know these three nine twins, that this is a nine and this is a three right there. All right, and now um, remember our hidden corner pattern here. We got four seven twins there. We've got a nine in this in row one now, so we know that neither of these can be a nine, so we've got ghost nines right here. And um, we've got a four here in this row. We're looking at this diagonal pattern right here. We've got a four here in this row and a four in this row. So one of these is a four. We also have ghost nines here and a nine there, so we know these are four nine twins now. And again, we've got another hidden corner pattern here with four nine twins right there. So we'll keep that in mind. Um, and I guess because this is a hidden corner pattern, we've got a seven right here. We know one of these is a seven. We know one of these is a seven. So one of these has to be a seven. And there's a seven there already, so we can put a seven right there. All right, and now we've got a four here and a four here, so we have ghost fours right there. So we have four there, ghost fours there. That makes that a four. All right, now the second Second concept or technique I mentioned is identical twins. Now we've got identical twins right here. We know these are the same number because no other number in this column outside of this box um, is empty besides this one. And if you look at the numbers that we've already got in this column, one, two, four, five, seven. We've got all five of those numbers right here in this box. One, two, four, five, seven. So these two numbers have to be the same. Okay, so let's see what this number could be. It could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That can be a six or an eight. Now let's see what this number could be. Could be a one, two, three, but it can't be a three because this isn't a three, if that makes sense. Okay, so that can't be a three. One, two, can't be a three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a six or a nine. That's a six or an eight. That's a six or a nine. They have to be the same number, so it's gotta be a six. So we'll put those in. So we used identical twins there to, to find out which number that was. And let's see. since we know that these are sixes, we know this is a, a six right here. And there's only one number missing in this column, and that's a nine right there. Now remember our four nine twins here that we that we found. Well, now we've got a nine there, so we know that's a four, and that's a nine right there. And because of that, we can solve the seven four twins we found. There's a four there, so that's a seven, and that's a four right there. And now remember we had ghost nines here, which helped us find these four nine twins right there. So now we got ghost nines there, nine there. That makes that a nine right there. All right, now let's look at box five here. We're missing three, five, seven, three, five, and seven. Well, we've got three here and a three here, so we know that's a three. We've got, um, we, we can use double row, double row elimination here to find the seven. 
we got a seven here, seven here, so one of these is a seven. Seven here, seven here, so one of these is a seven. So we know that has to be the seven, because we have seven, seven, seven. And that makes that a five. All right, now we're missing four and five in this column. With that five right there, we can put a four there and a five there. Now row five is missing six and eight. There's a six there, so we can put an eight there and a six there. Row four is missing four, five, there's a four there, so we can put a five there and a four there. Now we're only missing one number here, and that's a five. And um, let's look at row three right here and see what we're missing. Two, three, seven, nine. Two, three, seven, nine. There's a three and a nine, so these are two and seven. And we've got a two here, so we can Put the 2 and 7 in there. All right, now we're only missing 1, 6, 1 and 6 there. With that 6 there, we can fill the 1 and 6 in. And now we've got a 2 here, 2 here. So 2, 2, 2, 2. So that's a 2 right there. Column two is missing five and eight. Well, there's a five right there, so that's an eight here and a five there. Now let's look at, see what we're missing in box four here. One and seven. With that seven, we can put a one there and a seven there. All right, and we got another identical twin here, right here and right there. These are identical twins also because we've got a two, four, six, seven, nine in this column outside of this box. And we've got a two, four, six, seven, nine in that box. So we're only missing one number in this column outside of this box. It's the same number as this um, cell right here. So let's see what that number is. Let's see if we can find that. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a three right there. So it's the only number it could be. So that's got to be a three also. Right. And uh, let's see what else we're missing here. Um, box one is missing eight and nine. Yeah, eight and nine. There's an eight there. Here we're missing three, eight, and nine. There's a three and a nine, so that's an eight. Three and an eight, so that's a nine, and that's a three. Box nine is missing one, three, and nine. There's a three and a nine, so that's one. There's a three, so that's a nine, and that's a three. Now we're missing, we've got a one here and a one here, so that's a one. One, one, that makes that a one. Box seven is missing five and eight. There's an eight there, so five, eight. And let's see, only missing one number here, four. That's a four. And now we're missing five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So it's eight, nine, that's a seven. Seven, nine, that's, oh, four, nine, that's an, oops, sorry. 
We're only missing eight and nine now. <laughs> There's a nine, so that's an eight, and that's a nine. And that's it. Well, that one was a bit tricky, but using you know, hidden patterns, uh, the hidden corner pattern, using diagonal patterns and right angle patterns and identical twins, we were able to solve it pretty quick and pretty easily. Well, thanks for watching.